Yo, what is up guys? So today we are going to be making a video back at it again with Brawl Stars. So for today's video, I will be teaching you people on how to use Daryl. Daryl is a very interesting brawler because he's the only brawler in the whole game that produces his power for a super over time. If you look, you'll see the bar slowly, well the circle, slowly um, progressing. His super isn't that good, however it can go over rivers, even if the smallest bit is just over water, it will go over a river, which is very useful, believe me. So I'll be teaching you guys today on this video on how to use Daryl. Now, for example, let's start off with dashing. Now dashing is very useful because you can dash over rivers, you can dash to escape, you can dash to finish off your opponents and you win the battle and they don't buy a little bit of HP. So, for example, say this barrier here is a river, this just right here is a river, and you're the smallest bit off, you can dash and then go over and go really, really far. However, he's really useful for passage, and I'll show you that in a friendly. So, but before we do that, I'll just teach you on how to use him with his shotgun. He shoots twice, he does okay damage. If there's another shotgun and you guys have equal power-ups, both have your ability, don't fight them. If they, if you have your ability and they don't, still don't fight them. Just don't fight them in general because it's very dangerous. However, Daryl has a very important purpose. And his important purpose is to kill Rosa. Rosa is, if you're not aware, before she was nerfed, she was the strongest brawler. Best brawler in the whole game. But then she got nerfed. And then she got another nerf. But he's very good to kill uh, Rosa. So, whenever you're dashing to someone, remember, it is faster than bull. So you can just dash there. Okay, boom. Kill them. Now, he's better for going for smaller plays. So now I will use him in, in a friendly. And he's very good for open maps. Because people will underestimate you. And then, just don't overestimate yourself. But people will underestimate you. And then you can defeat them. However, his star power makes him insane. One of the only two brawlers that gives him a shield to take in less damage. So let me just quickly dash away. Oh no, he already ran away. Never mind. Sorry, that sounded a bit weird. Um, I'm just, well, I have been sick over the week, so that's why I sound a bit weird. But let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to go to a river and try and find an example. Now, Passage is a very open map. So, um, he's very good because there's two really big rivers. See, there's Daryl. See, ah, uh, sorry, Daryl. What am I saying, Daryl? Dynamite there. See, I dashed over the river, got Dynamite. Now, let me try and find an example. Ah, yes, Carl. Carl would probably underestimate me. In a real match. But then you can just dash to him. Kill him. Boom. Done. However, Daryl is better to kill um, far range, less HP brawlers. Because that's just what he does. Now, his super is so effective. That dashing is so helpful. It's honestly what gives him, what makes him amazing. Rather than like making a super where it just does extreme damage. Now, let me jump into a few real matches and versus real people and show you guys on how to use it. Now, Dune Drift, however, is one of my favorite least maps because I just don't like it. It's very similar to Eric Blocks. However, I'm pretty sure... Okay, this guy... What's he doing? Okay. Okay, let me just grab this real quick. Okay, I'm going to pretend to be scared. Now, boom. Oh, no, 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 no. He's, he's got his super. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's official. It's official. Yo, team is to the max, bro. No, that's... <laughs> whatever, I lagged, bro. I literally froze. If, I, if it wasn't for me freezing, I probably could have survived that. But, whatever. June Drift, a lot of teamers are in there. Now, if you don't go... If you don't come across teamers... Good for you. But me personally, I come across a lot of teamers whenever I use Pam, Shelly, 
Bo, because those are my three top, well, one of my top brawlers. Uh, well, three of my top brawlers, to be specific. Um, so, yeah, teamers, it gets way more extreme the more trophies you have. Okay, so there's a Gene here. Now, however, I'm not going to mess with Gene because he's almost as annoying as Pam and Crow because of that chip damage, man. And you just can't escape it. It's so annoying. Okay, let's try and charge up on this ball real quick. Thing is, I do have the range advantage, however, against this ball. So let's just... Okay. I'm um, just trying to push him off so he won't interrupt some of my fights. Okay, so he's very good for checking bushes because if you look, it... Like, the shells, um, they spread out the further they go. So, that's very, very useful. Very, very nice. See what I mean by genius? Very annoying. It's hard to escape. Ooh, Shelly. See, if it weren't for me dashing, I wouldn't have survived. Ooh, bird. Taking advantage of my low health. I thought there was a bullet here, but never mind. Haha. -ha. Okay, don't know what this genius is doing, but let's hope we can kill him. Yeah, no, Crow's, Crow's gonna kill me. That's just how it goes in Brawl Stars. Unfortunately, Crow is just the most annoying Brawl in Brawl Stars, but hey, you gotta deal with it. Okay, so, let's jump into another match. Him, Daryl, is so good for Thousand Lakes, because you may, you may be the slightest of your super. However, in Thousand Lakes, if you're not familiar with the map, it's where in the middle, there's like two rivers, and then... There's basically just in the middle, and if you're not in the middle, at the very end, you will die and perish in the zone. The zone is very deadly uh, for that map because the water, a lot of the time, interferes with it. So, Daryl's very good for Thousand Lakes. Like, he's just top brawler in my eyes for Thousand Lakes. Let's dash away because this is getting a bit risky. Okay, so there's a Rosa there. Now, remember what I said, how he's really good against Rosa. Let me try and show you that. Oh, wait, there's a Shelly. This is a... Nah, this is a bot, bro. That's so bot. Sorry, buddy, I'm not going to team. We chill, but I'm not going to team, bro. Okay. Uh, Bo here. However, very low. And obviously, he's going to dash away like a very strategic player. However, he got caught in that bush. Oh, nah, Rose is out of range. Sorry, buddy, not today. Okay, so that rose are backing off smart, very smart. Okay, this guy's just following me, which is kind of a problem. Because I'm teaching guys on how to use Daryl, and now this team is just following me. Now, I don't really team that much, unless, like, I have to. But, yeah, I try to avoid it as much as possible, because, you know, I am not a fan of teamers. Okay, you can grab those. Oh, Rosa, strategically doing... Um, camping in the bush house, Mark. Now, however, however, I feel this Pam is going to backstab me and take some of these because she feels she needs some tax, man. Ugh. Oh, no. Okay, now we are going to dash away. Okay, six power-ups. However, the Pam is... Never mind, the Pam's not teaming with me. I mean, I don't want to team with her, but she wants to team with me. I don't know the gender, but I'm just assuming it's a female because the... The brawl is a female. No, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just saying. Okay, so. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use Daryl. He's an easy brawl to use. However, he's the worst shotgun to verse another shotgun. So try to avoid those. Versus all primers and roses. Because those are his um, top hunters. Don't go for Colt. Go for Ricochet. Unless he has his ability. And you can decide.